Let's talk to Richard Hunter. He's from Wilson King. Richard, welcome to the show. Nice. Inflation. Tell me about inflation at the moment. Yeah, it's a tricky one because um, obviously the central banks are looking for a good excuse to, to raise interest rates. That's generally speaking around the world and uh, there's just not a lot of inflation happening and uh, there's quite an interesting debate going on at the moment because if you imagine inflation split into uh, services and manufacturing, um, energy and uh, you know, energy tends to be, as in oil prices, tends to be put to one side. Yep. In terms of services, you can probably, uh, depending on what market you're in, raise prices whenever you like. But the interesting part is on the manufacturing side. We've been seeing, if anything, we've been seeing say, food deflation uh, for the last few years. And the debate is whether that part, which is a large part of inflation, is actually a, a thing of the past. Because of the advent of technology and automation and all the rest of it, just perhaps uh, these lower prices are here to stay. And that's got a very interesting implication on inflation, which is important for central banks as part of their calculation. But in your 30 years of tenure in the city, when it's this time it's different, OK, does that not make you a tad fearful? Um, not necessarily, because the, the sort of technology we've got today um, is, is not something that was around 30 years ago, and that, that's why the debate is, is worthwhile. Um, is, it, uh, is this just a normal cyclical um, you know, lack of inflation we're seeing at the moment, or is it stru structural and here to, say, here to stay? Uh, and if we are turning the corner, because everything is becoming more and more automated, let alone in five or ten years' time when we're going to have artificial intelligence playing part of the game as well. Uh, it's an interesting thought as to whether um, central banks are, are waiting in vain for inflation to return, um, because clearly there's a number of central banks around the world at the moment just aren't seeing it. Thought of the day. Thank you very much indeed.